What happened to Sunday League? Smith, put up football. Do more Sunday League matches. Will Sunday League football return Sunday? So many questions, so many demands, but what I can confirm is Sunday League football is back. Don't care. Of course you do, and it's good to be back. Hope you had a good Christmas and a new year, but that was ages ago. It's time to play some football. Some strange things going on today. Woz has brought a friend with him, and Jamie's acting his age by turning up in old man slippers. Look at those duties. And then there was this. Nice one, mate. So let's see where we're at. We currently find ourselves in third place as we face up to 10th place Thames Rangers today. We actually played this team at the start of the season and won 5-0, so another result like that would be lovely. Before the game started, though, we and every game in the league carried out a minute's silence for a young lad named Bradley Arthur. Brad was a local lad who went missing after a New Year's Eve party, and after a six-day search, police found his body in a drainage dike. Our thoughts are with his friends and his family. And we kick off and as you can hear it's very very windy and we went against the wind in the first half with a tactic to go with it in the second. So first chance falls to Thames Rangers as number 10 cuts back and puts it through to number 3 who blazes it over the bar. He didn't hit the goal but he hit the car behind and I'm sure that's what he meant to do. Thames attack again as number 19 shoots from outside the box. Sean saves it but doesn't hold on to it and number 20 puts it wide. Should have been a goal, should have been 1-0. We are living dangerously. Here we have Wozza now who brings it out from defence and takes on a couple of people. Brings it towards the centre circle and puts it through towards too good but it's a little bit too much and the defender makes the tackle. The ball's kept in by our opponent who brings it forward and then does a quick little step over to get past Wayne and then with a bit of space to get into he rides Kev's tackle who actually takes out Wayne then he cuts it back inside goes past Graham goes past Dan takes the shot with his right and he's the bottom left hand corner. The defenders are left there standing he celebrates and probably well deserved as well. 1-0 Thames Rangers. Oh would you look at that there is another half to this pitch as Luke brings it forward he puts it in but no one's really in there and the keeper makes an easy save. Here we go it's the fan favourite is Nolsey, aka the beast, aka the god, aka the tank, who puts it through to too good. It takes a strange touch but somehow it finds Nolsey, who carries on his run but scuffs his shot. Here we go again as Jamie puts the ball through to Kev, who puts it over the top to Nolsey. He's got the pace, he's in on goal. This is it, the equaliser. Are you ready? Ah, oh. it's alright Nolsey, you can have one, or two, or maybe three. And we go again as Nolsey sends in the free kick, defender doesn't clear it, it falls to Jamie, on the turn, connects well, back of the net, 1-1. Corner for Thames now, which is floated in, and we don't manage to clear it the first time, or the second time, or the third time, or even the fourth time. Shot saved by Sean, we don't manage to clear it for the fifth time, another shot, which is blocked by Graham. On the sixth attempt, we don't get to clear it, and on the seventh, there's a clash of heads. Desperate times at the back. Up the other end, it's a long throw in by Graham, which is knocked on by Jamie, which falls to too good. Can he finish it? No, it's a save by the keeper. Cleared, out to Kev, who puts it across. Too good again, hits the bar, and then Jamie puts it wide. From the goal kick, it's a poor clearance, and it falls to Kev, who puts it straight back towards too good. He's got the pace on the big defender. Can he finish it? No, over the bar. He's got his rugby boots on. Here we go again as Kev puts it in the throw. It falls to Liam, who puts it through to too good. He's got another shot on goal, but it goes straight to the keeper. Half time now, and too good sums up our first half performance. The Shizer. But with the wind with us this half, we're going to go on and look to win this one. So it starts off with Nolsey, he brings the ball forward, and he puts a cross in, but it goes over the bar, which would mean it's a shot. Or is it a cross? Only he'd know. Too good supplying for Nolsey now as he brings it forward and takes a shot. Rugby boots for him as well. Watch that car. Too late. Nick's on the field now and he picks the ball up pretty early. He takes a touch, goes past his man and then puts the ball into Kev. Takes a touch, puts it inside to Jamie. Takes a first time shot and it's straight at the keeper. Anywhere else and that is 2-1 to Palmer's. As you can see, Tomo's arrived now. He tends to get here a bit later because he works nights. As you can tell, he's a stripper. Meanwhile, down the other end, Nick supplies through to Nolsey. He's got so much space to run into. Pulls the trigger with his left and boom! Hits the bar over the line. That's 2-1 Palmers. It's now time for why you click this video. You saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. So let's see a ref get taken out. Okay, that's enough, because if we fast forward this clip, you will see that the ball's crossed in and they score an equaliser. Come on, ref, that's a little bit harsh. One minute we're attacking for a third, the next you get in the way, and then they score the equaliser. A few of our players wanted a drop ball from where the ref fell over. The others said we should have dealt with it. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below.
So Tom goes on as Dan cuts out this clearance. He puts it through to Nolsey. He takes a touch, brings it down, gives it to Nick, who gives it back. He's in on goal. Can he make this count? Is it free? No. Keeper's equal to it. Poor clearance here from the keeper, and it goes straight out to Nick, who takes a touch and on the volley. Straight back, but it goes just wide of the goal. Unlucky, son. And there we have it, you heard it, it's the final whistle and it ended 2-2. You can definitely tell that it was our first game back in six weeks, but full credit to Thames Rangers, they caused us problems and probably deserved the point in the end. Andrew, calm down with the camera, you're making me dizzy. So it's back, Sunday league football has returned and with a bit of luck we should be on every single Sunday provided the weather holds out. Hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already and be sure to check out all the other football content on this channel. Peace!